One of the features uh, available within BetAngel is the ability to connect to a spreadsheet. Uh, why would you want to do that? Well, there are a number of reasons. Um, you could want to create your own unique view of the market. You may want to add on technical indicators that you're interested in looking at. Um, but also you can fire bets from the spreadsheet back into the market. So there's obviously an advantage to identifying favorable situations and getting your computer to fire those bets in automatically for you. Um, but let's uh, show you how to connect to Excel. If I go into the uh, Excel tab on BetAngel, you can see here that it says file name. If we hit browse, this will bring up three of the templates that are available within uh, BetAngel Professional. BetAngel Multiple is for use within Guardian. This allows you to connect multiple markets at the same time to a spreadsheet. Um, and to do that, you have to use our multi-market tool, BetAngel Guardian. Charting is an example spreadsheet that um, allows you to plot the price movements and add your own view of the market um, via BetAngel and Excel. Uh, that's an, an example spreadsheet we put in there for you. And we're going to use the spreadsheet BetAngel 1, which is the default template for connecting to a market. So if I double click on that and then open workbook, that opens up the workbook, but you can see at this stage there's actually nothing within there. And um, the reason for this is we haven't connected it, so let's connect it. And by connecting, this populates the market with the same information that you'd see on your main BetAngel one-click screen. So you can see the information there has been transposed straight into the spreadsheet in the market. And you can see there's a load of other information in here, including a countdown timer and so on. Once you have the template up, this um, BetAngel workbook allows you to gather all of the information into one area, but also issue commands. But it may be that you want to create your own view of the market. So if we skip over to sheet two, which you can see down here, you know, we can say, OK, I want the price of the first runner in this market, um, the price of the second runner, um, and we'll go for the price of the third runner as well. And we can call this column price, rather unsurprisingly. And uh, what we could do then is put in money, the amount of money available at either price. So we'll do that there. Have that there. And we'll do that there. So, you know, let's add up how much money is available on offer at those prices. £36. Of that, 20% is on the, the, front, uh, the front runner. And if I copy that formula down, you can see here that we've got some percentage of how that money split. So if we wanted to plot that, you know, we could go in and uh, do a nice pie chart. And what will happen now is that pie chart will update dynamically because we've linked it to data coming from Betfair um, via BetAngel. So as money changes hands at the front of this market, um, the pie chart will update automatically as that uh, proportion of money shifts around the book. So you can see it's actually quite simple to create your own particular view on the market. It's just a question of designing a spreadsheet and then sucking in the data off of the main BetAngel spreadsheet. Very, very simple to do. But if you want to be active and do something on this market, then that's possible to do that through BetAngel as well. This area is related to information coming from the market. But if you look at the spreadsheet, this area with the green cells is related to issuing commands to the market from the spreadsheet. And over here, you have the command, the, the feedback that you get from the market when you place a bet into the market. So if we have a look um, at this particular market, we've still got five minutes or so, so the liquidity isn't high here. Um, to fire a bet into the market, you can type commands directly into here. So if we type back into here, it would place a back bet in the market. If we type in lay, you'd do a lay bet and so on. But you obviously need to nominate odds and a stake. So you can again type in the odds manually, which seems a bit pointless to be honest. Or you can say, OK, we'll take the odds from here. So at the moment we're saying equals G, G9. G9, the cell G9, relates to the back odds that are currently available on Minerva rows. Um, we'll just put in a small stake for the moment on Minerva rows. So if I went into this market now and typed in lay, BetAngel would place a lay bet in the market four and a half on Minerva Rose with five pound. But that's not very interesting. You just will go in and click on a screen 
um, to do that. So what BetAngel allows you to do is we have a unique scripting language that's available and you can see all of these functions available up here. This allows you to issue more complicated commands. So we can go into a market and we can make a bet conditional. We can say we can use an Excel command like if to say if the money here is higher than the money there then lay else do nothing. So what this is saying is if there's more money on one side than the other place a lay bet. Um, so we make it conditional upon something occurring within the market. Very simple to do that. There you can see we've placed the lay bet and it's basically said five pound lay bet placed on Minerva Rose 4.9 unmatched when it reached the market. If we go into Bet Angel, I'll just pull this up, you can see there is the lay bet for us in the market. So we can cancel that if we want. So something that you do within Excel replicates itself within Betangel. You can see there the lay command was coming off because um, it was uh, subject to the conditions that we put in there. But maybe we want to be a bit clever. An interesting thing about this as well that you should note is the status says placed. To stop Betangel and via the spreadsheet firing bets left, right and centre, the status cell has to be cleared. Otherwise you'd get bets going in every few milliseconds, which would be a nightmare. So we can be a bit clever with this command. We can say something like, okay, if this scenario is reached, lay, but we can issue commands that you would place um, or attribute through Bet Angel. So we're going to lay with an offset of one, um, with a greening, set that to true. Um, we also want um, fill or kill switched on. So we'll do fill, kill, true. And um, we're going to hold the order in the market with a kill delay of five seconds. So you can see how I've expanded this command to make it not only conditional upon characteristics within the market but I've assigned attributes to the command as well. So if I now press enter on this you'll see BetAngel is watching for when this condition is met and you can see it flashing on and off. And this is when the command is met it's firing or it's issuing this text into the, uh, the betting area of the spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do now is if I clear out the status cell, um, we'll let it fire the bet in. It waits for the command to be initiated. You can see the conditions are not being met at the moment so there's no text coming up in this field. There we go. Placed kill pending. So we're waiting to see if we can get that five pan order matched at 7.4. It has been matched. And if we go into bet angel now Oh, in fact, it was killed. <laughs> so let's try again. Let's see if we... Yeah, it says down there it's killed. What a wally. I didn't read the text properly. So let's try again. See if we can get an order speculatively filled on the other side of the book. So it's pending at the moment. It was killed. Let's try again. Waiting for the kitchen conditions to be correct. As soon as the condition is correct, there we go. It's pending. Here we go. It says five pound lay bet placed on Minerva entirely unmatched. Two seventy five of unmatched bets was filled before the remainder of killed. So you can see there it's reported back. We got filled at odds of eight point four. Amount matched was two seventy five. Bet reference number of the time in which it went into the market. So if we go back into bet engine, you can see what's happened here. We fired the bet into the market. It placed a lay bet, some of which was matched. As soon as that was matched, it went and offset it. And we've made a profit on that trade. We've made a 50p profit on our five pound. Woo! Um, but you can see that it, because we used with greening, it's greened it all up for us as well. So just by issuing a simple command into the market, making it conditional upon some parameters within the market, and applying some of the global settings, um, the spreadsheet has gone in, looked for a, a good trading opportunity, traded it, um, and we've made some money via the spreadsheet. This is a very simple implementation of how you can use the spreadsheet. Um, obviously you can write your own VB scripts and so on. Um, the sky's the limit really in terms of what you want to do with Excel. This is just a very simple um, example of how to connect to the spreadsheet and how to use some of the most basic uh, functions within it. But get involved, use the spreadsheet, quite simple to use, um, but very powerful.